Hello, welcome back to What's Up with Jessup. We're now looking at the conclusion, the last chapter of this writing workshop I'm working on. And so I will be first looking at, um, I've already written a paragraph. Now I will be looking at the introduction, looking at the structure. I've spent uh, the last podcast episode looking at ordering the information, um, making them into categories, seeing similarities between ideas and then bringing them into one so that you can know exactly the order in which you will be making your argument. Now, I know that I will be trying to express that into um, coherent words. So wish me luck, um, and we will try doing that. All right. So, um, Um, I can say first that after reading so much about why After reading so much about why people fight on these two issues, these two issues, two issues. Sorry about the background noise, by the way. That is the uh, dishwasher. It's uh, a little bit, uh, you know, loud, but. It uh, saves me time, so that I can't really do anything about it. All right. Uh, but uh, the first sentence I've written so far is saying, after reading so much about why people fight on these two issues of, of humanitarian aid, humanitarian aid, aid, and human rights, human rights, The one question naturally arises. One question, one question naturally arises. So what? How are we going to um, well, well, so how there was a what, why, and how the three like kind of questions I had but I forgot exactly how they were worded, so I'm going to go back and see how they were worded. So it's why, is there a divine? And how do they find? Well, why and how people fight on these issues of human and aid and human rights, one question, naturally arises. So what? What can be done? What can be done? What can be done is a little bit more passive. So I want to say a little bit active manner. So what can the two, the two, Expert communities, communities do to to what can the two expert communities do to what can the 
Advance might be a better word. Um, what can these people do to advance both of their objectives? Right. What can the two extra communities do to increase cooperation and advance? Due to advance, you know what, let's just keep delete both of these sentences and say, what can the two actually can use two to improve the situation? Improve the situation. This these policy recommendations um, at scholars this section this policy recommendation section this Section. This section, this policy recommendation section, or this section. This. Well, I like the policy recommendation section, but if you want it to be more concise, you want to say this section. Um, this section. Um, this section. makes I, I don't want to say dissolve but it, it crystallizes something it, it, it boils it down to so it's like crystallized either it's crystallized or boils down to and you know the drill when i do not know the accurate wording phrasing i always go to yes you're right thesis.com so i see if I can say crystallize, it crystallizes um, of the issue. Is that like a good um, word? Become delineated. Take shape. Mm, crystallizes. The, no, I think crystallizes a little bit too <laughs> exaggerated. Exaggerated. Boils down maybe boil down a bridge contract condenses oh condenses that might be summarizes no summarizes sounds too academic condenses the past academic literature encapsulates this section on this section on policy recommendations encapsulates past that's a pretty good good word it shortens? No, that's not really the idea we're looking for. This is, it shouldn't maybe summarize. So it says compiles, encapsulates, epitomize, outlines, recaps, rehash, sum up, abridge. Mm, none of them are really the words I'm looking for. Compress, shorten, squeeze, wrap. Nope. How about condense? Condenses. That's a little bit better. I like that one. It shortens, it boils down, coagulate, coagulate. That is interesting. Oh, distills, distills. See, these are all like scientific words. Distill something, boils down. I mean, they're actually exactly opposite uh, phenomena. Uh, 
you know, water, like liquid, going back to, like, like gas going back to liquid is um, condenses, and boiled down is actually, um, you know, liquid going into gas. But so they both mean the same thing. I don't know if the scientist made that word or not. I have no idea. But let's see. I can either use boils down to this section boils down, condenses, clarifies, boils down. See, another fun fact is after looking at these things in an extensive manner, I go with the almost the first word I came up with, which is this section boils down. <laughs> like much for condense and all the words that I looked up. It doesn't really matter. Um, because the word you chose is always, almost always the right uh, word. Uh, you go back for it and try to fix it up. You know, it's not, it doesn't explain the word as well and as effectively. You can always go back and think about it, but it will take time and it's not as efficient. So just talk about it, write it, express your ideas, then go back. Because right now, as you can see, you've seen me self-censor, inhibit my ideas. And that is getting in the way of pure creativity. Well, let's go. This section boils down past scholar, scholarly insight, scholarly insight, into three main recommendations. recommendations. Now, the naming of these are important, but I can always change it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but one is tailoring it. I mean, so I need a better word for cooperative development, um, right? Cooperative development, what does that even mean, right? What does it actually mean? Share resources might be uh, a better word. So share resources. So instead of cooperative development, we can just say share resources. How much better is that? Share resources is talk with each other rather than discussion and then hear the narrative so that the two issues can be discussed simultaneously. Um, is actually compliment or, or care. I mean, that's, that's a, a hard word because you say compromise. Um, it sounds as if you're letting an ideal go. It has like a very bad connotation of compromise. Whereas Taylor is, um, is uh, positive. So I think I have to look for a word that is, um, I know I'm going back to this resource again. Taylor, accommodate. Uh, accommodate, 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 be hospitable. Mm. Understand, conform, adapt, alter, modify. I don't know. You can either tailor it, your ideas, or accommodate. The understanding, maybe, could be. Uh, could be. Tailor. The narrative. See the mutual understanding. Taylor. Tailor it or understand each other. Mutual understanding. Mutual understanding is with tailoring. 
Oh, it's like a win-win. Or a win-win. Win. Win. And then share resources. <laughs> Jeez. Actually, though, like, these advice, like, points of advice, are actually, like, for a relationship or a marriage. It's like, talk with each other, gain mutual understanding, slash uh, win-win, and then share resources. That's a marriage. <laughs> or like a relationship where you're like, oh no, you fought with your girlfriend, you fought with your friend, talk it out. And then, you know, a compromise or, you know, make a win-win, make a way of winning so that both of you guys are happy. And then start sharing resources. Share. <laughs> it's also very um, intuitive if you, if you think about it. So... You know, that's one, those are one of the reasons why these are the tried and true solution, right? Because it's, um, those are ideas that are, that have been, um, pursued before and they work. That's the reason why they are really recommended. So we'll see. Um, this section boils down half scholar insight into three simple recommendations. Simple recommendations. Simple recommendations. Communication. Communication. Win win. Communication. Sharing. Sharing. And mutual understanding. And mutual understanding. And so I'm going to bring sharing resources back up. It's Kind of similar to communication. Communication is uh, sharing information. Uh, and so sharing resources can be uh, that part that should be talked about beforehand. Sharing resources. Right? Yes. All right. Share resources. It's right here. Okay. Wow. Boil this down into three simple recommendations. Recommendations that Three recommendations that can that can be uh, fine. Okay, so I change my an addition to this part and say that. Three six four recommendations that. People can apply in their everyday lives as well. This section boils down past solid insight into three simple recommendations that people can apply in their everyday lives. People could possibly, people could that people can apply in their everyday lives 
as well. Communication, sharing, and mutual understanding. While these, these points may sound contrite, is contrite a word? Contrite. Now I'm going to look at dictionary.com just to see if it works. Contrite. I swear this is uh, not a advertisement for dictionary.com but if you're interested dictionary.com please reach out for a sponsorship spotify knows what's up anyways contrite is causing or showing sincere remorse that is exactly not the idea i was trying to portray rather maybe it's trite right lacking freshness yeah stale they sound trite now I'm going to go back to that thief service and say, what are similar words as trite? Because I want to say something that's, I mean, often mentioned, right? Cliché. Oh, that is, is so often used, cliché. While these recommendations, these suggestions, they sound, Well, these suggestions, suggestions may sound cliche, their potential also lies, potential lies in these tried and true, and let's look up tried and true just to make sure I'm writing it wrong, right? Tried and true, tried and true. Oh, so it's tried and true. Tried and true. Tried and tested. Tried and true. In these. Sorry, I said I spelled it wrong. <laughs> In these. Tried and true. The potential also lies in these tried and true uh, principles, tried and true concepts, concepts in resolving conflict. Okay, I am done. I am completely done. Now, I will be writing these up into uh, the paper I have so far. So what I'm going to do is stop sharing this and then sharing my, uh, I guess, Word document, maybe. Am I sharing it, my Word document? Maybe not. I'm. I think I'm going to start sharing my abstract. Um, let's see. All right, I'll read it to you what I have so far. Ready? Um, I have first in the chapter I have a roadmap. Now that the previous chapters have identified the problems of a divide among aid and rights workers, this chapter will provide policy recommendations of how to improve the situation. Then this chapter will summarize the points made throughout this paper. After, after reading 
so much about why and how people fight on these two issues of humanitarian aid and human rights. One question naturally arises. So what? What can what can the two parties do to improve the situation? This section boils down past scholarly insight into three simple recommendations that people could apply in their everyday lives as well. Communication, sharing, and mutual understanding. While these suggestions may sound cliche, their potential also lies in the in, in that these concepts steps in conflict resolution are tried and true. Their potential also lies in the tried and true character, tried and true nature in the tried and true nature of these, in the tried and true nature of these concepts. While these suggestions may sound cliche, their potential also lies in the tried and true nature of these concepts in resolving conflict, in resolving conflict. Great, so I just wrote that. Uh, I'm going to delete the parts I had before, uh, written on my paper, and then I will be now introducing the first part of the paper. Ready? At first glance, it is easy to think that two communities working on humanitarian aid and human rights must be working towards the same goal, or even think of them as the same groups. However, in discussions ranging from academic panels to Twitter feuds, the two communities have been seen to criticize each other, resulting in more funding for both sides. Human rights advocates see humanitarian aid as sustaining a regime that deprives its citizens of their most basic rights. Humanitarian aid workers see the rights, uh, human rights advocacies, advocates can, can criticize size humanitarian aid. Humanitarian workers can in turn, can in turn, Criticize rights rights advocates as for, criticize them for naming and shaming or naming and shaming the regime uh, as naming and shaming the regime for political purposes rather than in the genuine interests of its people or of its people of, of citizens, of citizens. Okay. Now I will write the next paragraph that introduces the possible recommendation of whatever it is. Let's write it. In changing presidential administrations, the two communities have seen 
lopsided support for either aid. Oops, let's uh, try to unindent this. All right, we're good now. So either aid or right, but not often both at the same time, at the same time. As a result, actors in both communities have come to think, have come to think in adversarial uh, adversarial and adversarial terms where one issue is advanced at the cost of the other with arguments to de-link de -link both fields from politics and professionalize However, experts have argued that both issues should be discussed, should be advanced at the same time. So this is a, uh, this is mutual understanding. I mean, I guess I could provide this in a way that we start with the punchline um start with the mutual understanding we have to get mutual understanding in order to get mutual understanding how do you do that you do that through communication and sharing okay and let's do that that might be a more exciting way of um delivering this information mutual understanding communication and sharing now i'm going to change that order here by bringing them to the beginning and i had this uh i guess desire in, in the beginning anyways because i want to talk about this issue first this is really the part that i've heard so many people around me talk about a lot so i guess it's uh, only natural for me to say, you know, we're going to come in with the punchline hard from the beginning, coming in hot with the hot takes and tips so that you can, uh, it's like almost like a, a newspaper. You can finish it uh, when you're just uh, a little part into the uh, um, paper. Yeah. All right, I'm almost done writing it. Let's uh, still continue on. Advance at the same time. Um, and so, how do we argue this? Let's see. I'm going to stop sharing and share the screen one more time, just to make sure that we have the information going. Okay, perfect. We have that. Actually, we don't need the that part. I'm going to share the faces. All right, ready? Um, experts have argued that both issues should be advanced at the same time. And this was written by G. G, G a whole long sentence, I don't know. And the next sentence. This would mean that humanitarian aid should be that humanitarian aid should be delivered at a steady pace even during conservative administrations that criticize North Korea for its human rights violations 
and and human rights concerns should be discussed discussed in bilateral negotiations bilateral summits pushed by progressive administrations in order to engage with North Korea. Perfect. I've written that. Now I can delete it from my paper. Uh, great. I've written at least one paragraph. Um, this is great progress so far. The next time I will be writing a little bit more about how exactly can we gain mutual understanding. Because we can always see, be like, hey, you guys have to uh, gain mutual understanding. You have to share. Like when two uh, children are fighting, you can't say, you know, don't fight guys. You have to say how you will stop fighting. And the way it is, guys, really understand each other as human beings, people, and then share uh, your toys, information, resources, and, um, you know, communicate, talk with each other, right? So those are things to look forward to. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.